All right. Today's project is to make this canopy four inches lower. So we're going to cut it here, and we're going to cut it here, and then we're going to come around and cut it on the bottom here on all these verticals and here. I'm going to take a four inch piece out and we're going to drop this canopy four inches. The reason why I'm going to do that is because I can't get this machine through this door because the canopy is about two inches too high. So I'm going to cut four inches off this and I think that'll be fine because up in here when you're sitting on the seat you have probably about 18 to 20 inches of headroom up here. So I think I'll be fine with doing that. So let's get started. That is exact. So now we can scratch all off our cuts there. Measure down from these cuts to four inches and make another one. And I'll mark that and put my board back up so I get a level cut. Perfect. That's perfect. Now I'm probably going to lose like an eighth of an inch, so I'm going to have to try to keep my cutter at the top of this line so that all my waist goes down here so I stay right at my four inches. And it really doesn't matter where I go here as long as it's four inches out. I mean, this is level to this so that should work fine. I just decided to change my marks because this mark is right here and it's a little too close to this gusset. So I'm going to drop to my lower mark down here and go down the four inches. So let's do that. Now we'll take out this piece here instead of this piece. Get away from that gusset. I gotta carry these marks around all the way.
It looks good. That worked very well. <clears throat> so now we'll come up and cut these and get them off. Time for a new cutoff wheel. I got this other old one I'm going to finish up and use up. That looks awesome. They're not exactly perfect, but uh, a little grinding will take care of that. <clears throat> now we need to flip this over on its top and set this piece back on after I V these and those and we'll weld them in. Got this flipped over on its top. Now I need to grind off and get the V's made to weld the front and the back.
straight. Got everything lined up. I got my bees in. So it's time to weld this side. And then I have to pull that side over a little bit with the clamp. I got this side lined up. It's great vertical, it's great side to side, so I'm going to weld the face of that. done for now. Now we got to cut off the front and lower that. Spun this around, hooked this up to the chain fall and took a little pressure on it so when I cut these it'll just come off. I leveled this. It's level here, it's level here. I've scratched these marks. Now I'm going to carry the marks around and do my four down and cut this vertical piece out at four inches. Okay, now we'll carry down our four inches. side again like I did on the other one and we'll just pop this baby off
training wheels almost there. We'll have to put a new one on probably after a couple cuts. Okay, I think that's going to do it. Now we'll get this back up, get it set back on there, and get it leveled and welded in. The gap here and the gap here is telling me that that's true to where it was. We're ready to tack this side on and weld this. And then we have to go over and get the other side lined up and get it ready. So let's do that.
this is perfectly vertical here. It's looking really good. So let's weld this and then we can lay it down and weld the other side and I can continue welding on these and we'll get this thing done.
this side, grind it, check it and rewald it probably. I got to do under here, and I got to do under here. The front is done. That's looking really good. So now I got to flip this thing over and weld the other sides and grind them and make sure I catch everything and then put it on. that down and the same with this side
double check everything, and then we're going to put this on the machine. Before I bolt that down, we'll back it in here and make sure it fits. So let's do that. this snow and crap here so it comes in so I'm gonna bolt two bolts in that
Now this driveway, <clears throat> as you can see here, I've always had a problem with it being high on this side. So uh, I kind of took care of that and I'm going to have to f revisit this in the spring and get this really nice and flat right up to the concrete because the machine came in with two inches to spare after I got this laid down. So we got to bolt this down. But you can see here that this should set back farther. But when I had to put the canopy back on it when it was full size, I always had to hook the L to it and line it up. Now I may have aggravated the problem a little bit with lowering it. So when I get to it, I'm going to pull this back with the L and drop these bolts in. But the first order of business is to get this lined up in the front here and get these bolts in. So it's time to do that. This flashlight is pretty neat. It's a Nebo, and no, they're not sponsoring my channel, but I've never seen a flashlight that is lithium-ion rechargeable, and this one is, and it works awesome. as I had when it was a full canopy before it was cut down. It's got to be pulled back and probably get this bolt in and then bring the other side out a little bit. 
this should be fine and it should stretch. So I'm gonna start this up and turn it around and bring my L in and we'll get this out and get these bolts in. Okay, what I'm seeing is this canopy in the back has got to come directly towards my L tractor. So I'm going to pull it with this and we'll see what happens. that's done it's back on all the bolts are in all the bolts are tight if I ever have to take this off for any reason I'll have this video to tell me how to do it this could be a skull smasher now that I've lowered that down four inches but in reality It looks like it's going to be pretty good because when I get on, I have to be a full height. Once I'm in here, my height in here is good. There's no problem at all. So I'll have to watch this, and if I uh, have a problem with it, I will put something up there to uh, keep my skull from getting smashed. But I don't think it's going to be an issue. I think this is going to be fine.
cleaning all the mold and mildew off this and rubbing it down with alcohol because we're going to paint her tonight. brushes and rollers at the dollar store. That way when I'm done with them, throw them away. And they work just long enough. And I get paint all over me and everything I touch, so I don't know about you guys, but I'm terrible. You can see it on my pants here from the last time I painted it. Wow. 
so much dirt on this floor that I'm not going to care. I'm just going to clean up these petals. Get stuff off there. 